Hi, it is a great honor for me to be able to be here with you and be able to present to you and bring some more honor to the Interdisciplinary Social Sciences Research Network. The location of the conference this year, which was supposed to be at the National and Capodistrian University of Athens, has brought me a decade back in memory to an event that occurred in 2009 when I was visiting New York City and staying in Manhattan for the first time. It's been almost eight years since I have graduated from the Optometry College in 2001 and started my own business. And throughout these eight years, I have been through many business successes and much more setbacks. It is true that every business success has left me with a lot of lucrative relationships and rewards, but every business setback has left me with a lot of experiences, a lot of unanswered questions and unsolved puzzles which I actually brought with me to academia and that was mainly due to the lack of academic knowledge in business administration and management and partly due to my academic background as an optometrist. Now the reason I'm talking about this now it is because that day of May 2009 when I was taking a short stroll on 5th Avenue I walked the stairs up to the public library inside Stephen Schwarzman's building and the moment I entered the public library I was fascinated by the huge surface of its reading room it actually surpasses half the surface of a football court. As I walked around, I was stumped and couldn't help but being inspired by the depiction of Prometheus on the ceiling of the rotunda bringing fire to humankind. Now Prometheus, as we all know him, has saved humans from extinction centuries before Christ by providing us with the gift of fire. And in our modern world, Prometheus and fire symbolize knowledge, technological breakthroughs, and technological improvements. And I myself, having been struck by the fire of Prometheus, I decided to return to academia and start studying management. And a few years later, I enrolled in the MBA program, which I completed in 2013 with a concentration in healthcare management. Then I resumed my studies in a doctorate of business administration degree, which I completed by successfully defending my dissertation on July 2019. Now the same thing happened and the same feeling of inspiration has occurred to me a few minutes ago as I was trying to prepare for the, uh, this briefing uh, to the presentation and I thought what an inspiration it would have been if we were able to attend the conference in Athens and actually visit the trilogy, the, the public library, the museum and the university. But then I realized it is going to be an even greater inspiration for both of us as I try to present to you in a virtual setting because I have spent all of my postgraduate years in studying in an online setting and uh, virtual presentations are something that I do on a daily basis and I hope that at the end of the presentation we'll have a few minutes for a Q&A session where you'll be able to pause your questions and I try my best to answer most of them but if any question I will not be able to answer in this case that would be a great inspiration for both of us to try to put some more effort into academia in the purpose of finding answers and solutions to the questions and to the puzzles and problems that are boggling our minds but also in the purpose of trying to extend on my previous research I would also like to emphasize that during the presentation I will be speaking in details about uh, some of the theories that I have studied and that have had a great impact on my uh, research and I will also talk a little bit about some of the scholars who have influenced uh, my study and who have helped me construct the theoretical framework I will also uh, detail uh, why I use the dimensions of culture to try to explain the relationship between national culture and the adoption of crowdfunding as an alternative to conventional uh, uh, finance and uh, conventional instruments of finance when the uh, access to capital is difficult and when capital is uh, scarce in order to uh, uh, finance uh, uh, projects that uh, and, and, and startups. I will also speak about the uh, GDP per capita as an indicator of the wealth of a nation and its role as a moderating uh, 
variable in the relationship between national culture and crowdfunding adoption. At a later stage, I will detail why I chose to use uh, the social progress index in an attempt to extend on my first research and what differences did the social progress index bring to the statistical model as a, uh, moder as a moderating uh, variable that uh, moderates the relationship between national culture and the adoption of crowdfunding. All of these will be detailed during the conference on July, but until we meet, I would like to uh, wish each and every one of you and each and every member of your family to stay safe and stay in uh, good health. And I want to thank you once again for uh, having me and for bringing me the honor to present to you. And God bless you.